What's up everyone and welcome back to Book, the man with the long plan. I don't know. But we're back here at Book. It is finally the day we take on Moon Lord. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming. No semen. No homo either. But yeah, we're gonna take on Moon Lord. And we'll probably take on a post Moon Lord boss after. We'll see which one. But yeah. Uh let's check out something here. I installed a mod specifically for this episode. And we'll probably keep it the rest of the series. Mod link will be in the description as usual. But let's type in here Asphalt. I hope that's how you spell it. Asphalt platforms. From the mod Asphalt Platforms. Can you believe it? This is a nice little simple thing. I feel like well Minecraft did it, so I'm assuming Terry will do it in the next update. Uh hopefully, but you know, just platforms. It's plain and simple, I know. It's really plain and simple. And I'm hoping Terraria has in this next upcoming update has more stairs and platforms or a bunch of blocks that don't have them you know what i'm saying just like minecraft did with a bunch of their stuff but yeah we're gonna make some asphalt i don't remember how we need the blend o -matic and then just some gel all right nice and easy but yeah i wanted to tell you guys that because i gotta go make an arena we're gonna make our moon lord arena and this is probably gonna be our arena for a good bit and look it's the operator angela she uh, sells you boss drops and stuff. And then you can change a shop changer to treasure bags. And you can buy the treasure bags with the reverse city coins. So if you guys were wondering what those coins were for, here it is right here. But yeah, I will be right back. I'm going to make a good ass arena. Okay, maybe not good ass. I'm going to make an arena for the Moon Lord fight. And I will see y'all in a minute. All right, it is about 30 minutes later, 40 minutes later. I don't know. Possibly could have been an hour. I wasn't paying attention to time. It's 12. It's 12 at midnight. So I got to be a little bit hush hush. But our arena is set up. We are ready to take on the Moon Lord himself. Let's get out of there quickly. And then suck up all that shit and toss it in here. Um, no homo. I feel like I just said something that was homosexual. But we'll just throw that in there. You never know. But here's my arena. It's nice and simple. Nothing too much. It looks nice more than anything. But we got a lot of buffs here, okay? Got a lot of buffs here. We got Life Aura, Heart Lanterns, and then of course we have Heart Statues, Mirror's Blessing. There's a lot. Look at. I want to show you guys something here. So when I dash here, that's this is me double tapping once. <laughs> I go flying. But if I hold it down, if I double tap dash and hold it down, which is really fast, which is really weird. I don't know why that does that. How it does it. Where a double tap will send me flying. But I don't know. Um, oh, we could have put an extra accessory. Is what I just noticed. Do I carry any extra accessories? No. <laughs> oh. Alright, time to go. Let's do it. Moon Lord V Book. The moment we've all been waiting for. No bullshit here. We want a nice clean kill. No deaths, no nothing. That's it. We're just going for the jugular. Plain and simple. And we got a lot of backups here to make sure that we don't die. And we're going to use them if needed. Damn, I almost got that out of my first cycle. All good, all good. Like I said, we got a lot to work with. Plain and simple. Oh, you know what? I didn't activate the... Uh... Let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't have rage active either. So I can't even use the rage. So I have a potion. Okay, there goes our potion. I don't know what's going on right now. These eyeballs have health. And it's bothering me right now. Because that's not a thing they usually have. Okay, there you are. Rage is activated. Because it's going down slowly. And that's all she wrote. See, see, see you later. Who the hell is that? See you later, Moon Lord. It was nice to meet you. Ow, he's still attacking me. Calm down. <laughs> The boy was still attacking me. I didn't even have my full power there. As in, I didn't activate the trap. Look at the rain turn straight to radiator rain. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and heal up here. If you guys are wondering what this is, I think I use this in Uncle Carius. I'm not 100% sure on that. Resource life and nearby friendly NPCs, wall place. I don't, was that Uncle Carius I used that, or was it a stream series? I don't actually remember at all. But yeah, let's head back. Moon Lord has been defeated. Finally. I know, finally been such a long time coming so we have a celestial onion 
We're gonna hold on to that, okay? We're not gonna use it. We're gonna just hold on to it. Due to the fact that we already got an extra slot. And uh, we'll, there's more extra slots we're supposed to get throughout the series. So, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. We're already pretty strong. Um, but this is an extra slot. The Celestial Onion is an extra slot. And then the Abomination, the Postman Lord Abomination, gives you another slot. So that would mean I would have two more slots. But you guys let me know. Should I get those two more? I usually give myself one more slot. Because, you know, the Celestial Onion would give us the extra slot here. And then the... Um, the post moon lord abomination would give, give us one here but we're gonna have two extra here you guys let me know if i should have the two extra or not and uh if you guys probably say yes like yeah go ahead gamers you can have the two extra slots it's fine i'm probably gonna make them utility slots much like this is the archaic power powder i mean it gives us a little bonus but these are usually probably gonna be utility slots but moving on uh let's go ahead let's sell this don't need the torn note they used to do something. I don't remember what they did, but we don't need them anymore. Ammo box. Icor arrows. Awesome. So we can't use those. Should we hold on to this? No. Does not do us anything. Does not give us the ability to do anything with it. That's what I should say. And uh, portal gun. You know how it is with the portal gun. I usually never use it. I don't know how useful it is. Uh, so we're just going to toss it. Just toss it in there. I don't really care. I don't know, you guys let me know some uses too. Might as well. Because there's probably some uses for it. Moving on. Luminite. What can we do with Luminite? There's a couple of things. Void block. That looks cool. There's this also this alchemical bundle. But what guns? Oh my god, there's so much we can do. Let's start with this. Let's toss it in here. And let's go ahead and just craft the bars. Plain and simple. We got 20 bars. Um, jeez, there's so many things. <laughs> I think we should start with obviously Calamity would probably be the smart thing to do because Calamity gives us the most benefits. Xerox, we can make Xerox, which is not a bad set at all. I might honestly do that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Let me let me look at a couple things. I don't know why I'm so close to my. Let me let figure a couple things out here. Okay, so how I think we're gonna do this? We're gonna do it by just. No, I'll probably live stream me doing this, making a bunch of this stuff because there's a lot of items to look at here. And uh, by the time I stream, hopefully I'll see you guys' comments and stuff for what I should build. Because I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> Metal of Darkness seems pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and let me, let's just make the zero armor set. I think that'd be the smartest thing to do. I don't know if I have enough is the problem. It's all good. Because uh, we're going to do something here, okay? We're going to do something together here. What was the name of those, like, things I picked up from... What are they called? Let me figure out what they're called here. Boom. Ethereal Essence. We're going to do a little thing here, okay? We're going to take our Ethereal Essence. And we're going to craft a certain item here. And fight a certain boss in a different dimension. Ten. What's it called? Ethereal Sigil? So... Let's hope and pray that we can take this guy on in the ethereal dimension. Because I have no idea. <laughs> I really have no idea. So we're going to use the high priestess. Wait, hold up. I should probably get rid of this rain. How do I get rid of this rain? Okay, we can talk to the cactus NPC. Let's go do that real quick. And uh, rain be gone. No, quick dash. Another one. Send us flying straight into that spike. I've flown straight into that spike many times. Go ahead. Clear up the weather, my boy. That will help out a lot. What does this say? Jamel plus Zengon equals lovers. Oh, a little, a little bit of fan fiction there. Or a little bit of a fanfare is what we should say. But uh, that should clear up our day, right? I'm assuming it's clearing up because I don't have the debuff anymore. Okay. Back into the ethereal. Which has very bumping music, by the way. It reminds me of like... I really don't know what it reminds me of. <laughs> reminds me of something. But uh, let's go ahead. We're going to turn this on. Is the nurse there? Nope. All right. Y'all ready for the run back? <sighs> I'm ready for the run back. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Go ahead, cancel that. Run back. Blue edition. It's time to go. We're going hard. You guys may be bored of me using this gun. But we're going hard. 
no homo on that. Because we need to go hard. This boss is a little bit harder. So why not proceed to go harder? You know what I'm saying? We're landing a lot of damage off right here though. We're doing a lot of damage. Alright, so we gotta kill the core. Oh, we don't have to fight the uh eyeballs? I don't know, I can't tell honestly. No, nope, we do have to fight the eyeballs. It's all good, they're not a problem. We got homing weapons. Okay, slight problem. I'm almost dead. Slight problem. Just don't get hit, okay? Get rid of this simple. How do I dodge that? Oh my god. Alright, uh, let's pretend that last clip didn't happen. Let's do the real run back. The real run back, we're not gonna take no damage. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna play it as safe as we can. I know it's extremely hard to dodge a wall of uh, whatever I was shot at by. But uh, I'm gonna do my best this time to dodge it completely. Oh, um I don't know what to say about that if I'm being hundred percent honest. Because that was uh, a little bit hard to dodge. But I will try our best, honestly, to dodge it next time. Hopefully there isn't the next time. Ooh, um, <laughs> it's a little bit awkward now because uh, we're taking it too. <laughs> Alright, so here we are with our first attempt against the Will Lord. I came with a little more heat this time, so hopefully we won't be affected. Okay, this. I came with this. You seen that? How I dodged it without looking. <laughs> uh, just a god at Terraria. Thank you. Get a little bit more precise here. Honestly, I don't really play this carefully against the Moon Lord. So I don't think the Moon Lord's that hard of a bo final boss, to be honest here. Given with mods, obviously. Obviously, if you have mods, it is not too hard to fight the Moon Lord at all. But uh, he's actually not too, not too bad in uh, vanilla. But uh, this ain't vanilla. This is a lot more than vanilla. Oh my god, there's so many lasers everywhere. It's all good. We're on to the eyeball part. Just don't get hit. If we can manage not getting hit, we will be doing just fine, okay? Just fine. We have a potion coming up in 20 seconds, too. Oh my god, I can't control that. I can't control those lasers. We're so close. Please. Please! We done did it, boys. We done did it, boys. Girls, everything in between. We done did it. He's still trying to kill me. You need to calm down, sir. You need to calm down. Let's get out of there. <laughs> I don't want to be there no more. But yeah, there we go. The Moonlar has been defeated in its celestial form and its regular form. Beautiful. I could not ask for a better fight because we were only going to fight him in this episode anyways. Um... Ice arrows, okay. All right. I mean, we got more luminite, which I honestly I wanted to fight him again to get that. We also got the SDMG, the SDMG. Ooh, that really hurt my ears. Uh, we also got some more soul of luminite, which is always good to have extra of. But let me go ahead. Let me do this. Place that somewhere, and let's peep. Uh, what we can, what this ethereal globe is for. So allows the use of ethereal accessories outside the ethereal. Now, you have to equip it. So, so, okay. So, if we had the extra two accessory slots, I honestly might still do one ex extra accessory slot because we do have the onion. Um, we, st we do have the social onion. And we can equip that. But look, I have some really good accessories. We could get rid of this for something. I think there was an ethereal accessory I was looking at specifically to get rid of this. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, that's a good accessory. We, we probably will put that to use, honestly, and put an ethereal accessory to the use on top of that. So let's stuff that, stuff that in there. And then let's go ahead and more luminite. And let's see what we can do with the SDMM. Uh, we can make the SDFMG. No, we cannot make that. <laughs> not yet. The Svante Tech or the Spawn Technical. This weapon was one of my favorites when we did the original whatever it was ranger that's what it's called gdd so we got sdfmg gdd smdmg svdmg it feels like i'm at the you know eye doctor's office reading off the letters and shit but yeah on that note i think we're gonna end the episode off uh next episode and next stream which will probably be today whenever you're watching this episode it'll probably be the same day as the stream 
Make sure you tune in. We're going to try and get a couple extra weapons. And uh, hopefully, you know, make some more progress. Also, these right here, these wings, the ascension wings. They're wings. Because <laughs> I was wondering what the hell the ascension was last episode. Let me check some real quick. Real quick. Oh, they're cheap to reforge. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next episode. I'll try and record it in the middle of the day so I don't have to whisper and talk really quietly. But unless you guys want an ASMR episode, I don't know. Let me know. Bye bye. Hey, what's up, everyone? So I do have a Twitch where I live stream a bunch of content. I do a lot of viewer games. I stream a lot of Terraria and obviously the stream series. They start on Twitch and then they eventually end up YouTube. So make sure to check that out. Link will be in description. It will also be right here on the screen. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and a Discord. Check the description. Those are usually at the bottom of the description. Twitter and Discord is where I notify people that I'm streaming. And I also give, you know, updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out or, you know, why there's no video today or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. P peace out. P P P P P out.